Hi everyone, welcome back to this course. In this course, we are learning about the design pattern. And today we will talk about the simplest design pattern and this is called as adapter design pattern. Do you remember that situation where developer will say that, hey, I am using the design pattern, but I don't know which design pattern I'm using. So this design pattern is something one of them. Because this is so simple that I am pretty sure that you are using it in so many applications, but you don't know what design pattern you are using. Before learning anything about the program, let's focus on what is the concept over here. As per this concept, if you are having two different interfaces, which are not compatible to each other, it means their classes, some type is different, this one is expecting something else, this one is giving something else. Ultimately, they both are incompatible to each other. How can we make them compatible? The only way is either this one has to change or this one has to change but they are not ready to make any change so ultimately we will have to make something in between them that will handle both these interfaces if you want to talk about the real-time example of this adapter design pattern then it is like you are having a charger of your mobile phone or laptop and you are having a socket of a different country so let's say you bought something in india and you are using a socket within uk or us then these are not compatible to each other and what is the solution the solution is that either you will have to change your charger this adapter or you will have to change the socket but you cannot change any one of them so the simplest solution is that you will buy that different adapter and you will use that adapter in between both of them so that one is a kind of bridge in between both of them and that solves your problem and similar situation will happen in your programming also let's focus on that so for example if i want to display a list of all the employees on my console application and i am expecting that this employee list will come from an api but the problem is that the api is not ready so there are two different development one is displaying that list on the console window second is the development of that api but right now we are thinking that there will be three properties there will be full name there will be address and there will be some salary information about the employee and we have to display those things on the console so i told my front-end development team that you can assume that these three things will be there and just start the development and now let's focus how this is working in the c sharp console application this is a new console application that i have created by using the topnet core 9 in this console application i'm using the dependency injection and i'm using this nuget package microsoft.extensions.dependency injection that i have installed from the nuget and this is how i have registered some of my classes so i'm having one i employee repository let's open that while passed so here it is i'm having one i employee repository it has one very simple method it is returning a list of all the employees and this employee basically is a class that has three properties full name address and the salary now I have created one more employee repository class and over here because I told that API is not ready to the front end team. So what they did, they just mock the data, assuming that after some time, once the API will be ready, they will replace this implementation. And from this place, they will call that HTTP endpoint. They will get the data and this will work without any change. Now let's see what we have done on our program.cs class. Here we are using the instance of this I employee repository by using this dependence injection again. And I'm calling that get employee method. I'm getting the data. Right now it is coming this hard coded data. We are not calling any endpoint and we are displaying it on our console window by using this concept. So let's just run this application and see how this will work. All right, so this is a very simple concept. This is working fine so far. Now API team is super happy and they are saying that, hey, we have developed our API and you can use it. Everything is done from our side also. So let's see what they have done. So they have created this get employee method and this time the only problem they have done is that they have updated the format of this employee. What they have done, remember you are having those three properties, full name, address and the salary. Here they have created first name, last name, salary and address as a separate class. So we are having this line, one, country and pin. So many things are there and based on that, they are just returning the data from here. Right now, because we are demonstrating the concept, so I have written this hard coded, but in reality, you may assume that this data is coming from an API. Now, since the API is ready, so we can tell the front end team that, hey, this API is ready, you can just use it, okay? So what they will do now, uh, in this employee repository, their plan was that they will simply use this I employee repository, uh, like that, this service, and from this one, they will call that method of the get employee, And it will work 
but the problem is that here you can see we are getting one error and what is the error it is saying that the error is saying that the return type of both of these methods is incompatible to each other and you cannot proceed like that but we also have to register this dependency in our program.cs class which is fine but this will also not solve this problem ultimately we are in a problem where we are having two interfaces and they are incompatible to each other now what we have to do we have to solve it and there are two ways either the front end team will make the change in their code or the api team will make the change in their code but both the teams are saying that we cannot make any change in our code so how do we fix that the fix is that in between both of them we will have to create something called adapter that adapter will take the data from api will convert as per the requirement of this front end and it will pass the data to the front end let's see how to do that to solve this problem there are two ways one is either you can create some more set of classes totally adapter over there or you can modify this current method as per the need but first let's focus on that new file so here i'm going to create a new file maybe name doesn't matter but here i'm giving a name adapter so here i have created this interface i adapter and this is a class this class will also implement this i adapter and let's implement this method this adapter is basically taking the input from that api and it is converting that data to the front end team requirement so what it is returning this is returning that employee which front end team is expecting so if i open this employee repository so the same employee class we are using over here so ultimately we have to make some implementations over here we can call this i employee repository method so let's use again the dependency injection which is a good concept and here i'm using it and here this is how we can modify our data what we are doing over here let's focus on that also so from this employee http service we are calling the get employee method so this method will return the data in a different format now from that format we are converting that data to the compatible one so what we are doing we are basically using that link method and in the link we are using this type employee and we are converting all those properties to make everything compatible so this first name last name to the full name address line one country and pin to this address and salary to this salary so this procedure is called as the adapter because this is something that is getting the data from one place and making it compatible to the second one so now let's use this i adapter also in our dependency injection container and now what we can do inside our repository over here instead of using this i employee http service let's simply use i adapter and that's it here let's update this name also now there is no change in the front end code there is no change in the back end code the code that you have written in between them which is called as the adapter is handling that conversion logic okay now let's focus one more time what we are doing so for the front end team there is no change in the program.cs class it is getting the data in that employee format and we are simply using this for each loop to display that data now if i go about this employee repository we are having this class employee and we are calling we are having this method get employee which is basically earlier was having the hard coded data but now it is getting the data from the api but that api is not compatible so we are not using it directly over here what we are doing we have created one more adapter class this adapter class is now calling that backend service and it is converting the response to the compatible format and that's it now if this time i will run this application then you will notice everything is working fine and there is no change in the front end code or in the back end code but to make things simple you can simply avoid this new class that i have created this adapter concept you can write this logic directly inside your repository at this place so what i can do over here instead of calling this i adapter i can simply use this class like this this is also the same concept so now if i talk about the actual definition of this design pattern we are having one adaptive what is adaptive something which is incompatible the api the backend code this is adaptive so there is something called client what is that client the program.cs class is the client at this place because over there we are just displaying the data now how to make them compatible we will create one interface with target so in that concrete implementation we are getting the data from the adaptive and we are making it compatible to the client that is what we are doing i hope this concept is clear and in the next interview if the interviewer is asking this question about the design pattern then you will not say that hey i have 
use some design pattern but I don't know the name now you can simply say that I have used the adapter design pattern and this is how we can implement it in any application this is not specific to CSRP you can use this concept in any programming language I hope the video was useful hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will see you in the next video with a new design pattern thank you for watching have a great day